Now, as you might have noticed, I didn't do any vlogging while I was down there. Now, the main reason that was is the ocean was pretty angry that day. The waves were fairly big. And even though it was a kind of little protected alcove, where I was taking photos, there still was the potential of big waves coming in. And there was in fact one time when I had to pick up my tripod and get out of there because a set of a few waves uh, would have completely swamped where, where I was standing. I'm not the best person at multitasking. When I'm taking photos of the ocean and focusing on the water, I'm very aware of what it's doing. But I thought, you know, if I'm vlogging, I may just lose my uh, focus for a little bit. And I really didn't need my new camera or my GoPro or myself to end up being totaled by <laughs> wild weather. So I think it's a good point to always make sure you're respectful of nature when you're out taking photos because it can be all too easy sometimes if you're out in wild weather or big seas and things like that. It doesn't take much for it to be a dangerous situation. I'll show you a couple of photos I took now after this and I was actually reasonably happy with how they turned out. I wasn't particularly enthusiastic on the day of thinking that they probably I'd get anything worthwhile. I do really enjoy taking photos of waves and what I normally do is put it on continuous shooting. It's usually somewhere around half a second to an eighth of a second to get the movement of the water but not lose too much of the texture of it. I, I like to have that kind of feel of the ocean moving. And uh, yeah, I might keep taking photos as it's coming in. Just at a slow continuous shooting, you don't want to go too crazy. <laughs> End up with 5,000 photos, I guess you could. The first one was taken while the sun was still up. And then the second one was at dusk when the sun had, had actually set. I'm sure it's going to be a place that I'll get back to in the future. All right, hope you enjoy the photos. Let me know what you think about them. Uh, love to hear your comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, a thumbs up always gives me a helping hand. And if you're new here, why not consider subscribing so you keep up to date with all my adventures in the beautiful Gold Coast hinterland and surrounding areas and beaches and wherever I happen to get to around here. All right, I'll catch you all later next time. See you.